G'day there everyone, creating a rule that notifies yourself or other people when the value in a column changes in a Microsoft list is what we are going to tackle today and is what you are going to learn. Now if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe to the video, it really does help um, me understand what content is bringing you value. So head over, like and subscribe to this video. Now let's jump in and get stuck into it. So we're going to create a Microsoft list uh, and then uh, create a rule out of the box that you, anything, something that you can do yourself that then when a value in a column changes, we're going to send uh, some notifications. So I've got a Microsoft list here already created from one of the Microsoft templates called Recruitment Tracker. We've got a couple of items in here. You can see that we've got the candidate name, position progress, got some metadata associated to this particular list. Now, the column that we want to track here or keep updated on is this progress. So whenever the progress of an applicant changes, we want to be notified and we want to send uh, uh, myself and also other people some notifications. All right, so up the top here, what we've got is an automated drop down list and under automate we've got rules and you can yourself create a rule now this first tab here or this first tile data when data in a column changes do something all right so when um, choose a column changes to choose a condition send an email to certain people so we're going to choose the progress column and we want to be notified when it changes to a couple of different values so we've got this option here to one of and we can enter in our values the other ones that we can choose we can change it to anything so whenever this column changes to any value send a notification or we can say um, enter Enter a value uh, whenever it changes to a specific value, or we can uh, choose multiple values here, which is the one we're going to look at in just a second, and then and is not. So we've got a couple of options for us. So we're going to use the two one of, all right? So when progress changes to one of these particular values. So I want to change this to uh, top pick and also um, offer sent, all right? So whenever the value of the progress column changes to top pick or offer sent, I wanna send an email to me and also um, to the recruiter, all right? So I wanna send an email to the recruiter, all right? So you can see here that we can either enter a name or email address. I wanna send that to the recruiter. So I am going to click the create button. All right, so now whenever that changes, we can, uh, that, that notification will be sent automatically to the recruiter. So let's test this out. So I'm gonna close this down. You can see that we've got two recruiters here. So I'm just gonna add a new item and then I'm going to add Alex as, actually what we'll do is let's just change this one. So we'll change John Smith. Let's change John Smith and uh, the recruiter is going to be Alex. All right, so I'm gonna change Adele. Let's pop Alex in here and we're good to go. All right, so you can see that the progress of this, um, of John Smith is on hold. Now, what if we change this though? We've done our interviews, we've done everything here and we can say offer sent. All right, so I'm gonna change that to offer sent. That is now going to trigger that rule that we've just created and Alex is going to get a notification to say that uh, John Smith has now had his offer sent. So I'm just gonna grab uh, Alex's inbox and we'll have a look at what that notification looks like. Okay, so Alex has now received this notification. We can see the emails come in and we can see that Megan Bowen changed progress of offer sent uh, to offer sent uh, for John Smith. And we can see that we've got a direct link to that particular item. So we'll click on that item and you can see that Alex, we go directly to the item and we've got all the information that we need for that item. All right, so if I just drag this back across here, so now what you've now got the ability to do yourself is be able to create some of these business processes yourself. So from the automate, um, if I just unselect this from the automate, we go to rules, we'll go create rules. We've got a couple of different options Options. We've gone through the data and a column changes. Whenever a new item is added, again, another common request here, we can uh, enter in 
um, myself here. So when a new item is created, send an email to me so I can create that as well. And I can create another rule if I wanted to when an item is deleted. So there's a number of little options there that you can start to create some notification workflows directly from the Microsoft list. So I hope that brings you some value today. Again, don't forget like and subscribe so that I know that this, this content is bringing you some value. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.